hello everyone welcome to this video series on web technologies lab so let's continue from the previous video so here in this video i am going to tell you how to write the javascript for program 2 now go to file click new okay so type something like javascript and save the file okay so i am saving it in program 2 in the d drive so this is validate.js so for javascript extension is .js save okay so the name of the file should match exactly with this what you are giving in your html file okay validate.js and validate.js now let's remove this and type something like function okay so if if you have seen the previous video the function i am calling is validate okay so the function name should be validate so this is how you create functions in javascript you use the function keyword function name and the body of the function okay so let's test whether the javascript is working or not to test you can use something called alert function so let's display the message okay so the alert function is used to display a, a box okay message box with some message in it so the message i am printing is okay and also let's return the value false okay so let's refresh the page and click submit and you can see the message displayed is okay okay so this is the output of the alert function right now we know that the javascript is working okay now let's write the original code for validation so in the html page all the data that we enter here can be accessed using this id attributes okay you can use this id attributes to access the data which is given by the user so let's use it so how to use it let's see so in javascript you can create variables using the keyword where so first thing i am going to store is her first name so the variable i created is txt f name f name is first name so how to get the value from the html page you can use the document object okay and one method or function that is available on document is get element by id okay this one and here what you should give is this id okay that's why i'm saying i told you that this is very important okay so you can access the data using the id attribute so let me copy this and paste it here okay you can copy paste to avoid any mistakes right so like this i need to fetch four more other inputs one two three four so this one is last name so for last name the id is this okay and this is password so txt pwd so password id is this okay and next one is email value so for email id is this okay next one is mobile Okay. so mobile is this right okay so we have fetched all the uh, data from these five elements and we have stored in the variables okay now we have to check the conditions so if you remember the first video so the first name uh, validation is it should contain minimum six characters and you should contain only characters only you should not enter numbers or special characters or anything so first let's check whether 
the value or uh, the number of characters is at least six so how to do that means you can use this variable dot length property and if it is less than six you can display that it is not acceptable so i am using alert to display first name should be or should have more than six characters okay not less than six and since this is an error you should write Im immediately false so it will stop the execution here okay so if the control is coming from here to here means okay that means the user has entered six characters or more than six characters okay so ne the next thing we have to check is if this length is greater than or equal to six which is valid now we have to check whether the characters are only alphabets and not numbers or special characters right so what to do here is we will use some kind of a hack called as reg expressions okay so i will use reg expressions so let's see what is this reg expression so i am creating a variable called regex in fact you can write any name here a b c x y z you can write anything but i am writing regex generally people write like this okay so the expression is like this so slash cap symbol uh, in between square brackets you will write small a to z capital a to z okay and plus dollar slash semicolon so this is the reg expression we are using Some, uh, reg expression or you can say full form the regular expressions okay so regular expression starts with slash and ends with backslash okay i mean no, not backslash starts and ends with a slash okay starting we have this cap symbol and ending we have dollar symbol and in between what is the thing we are trying to do is uh, here plus means one or more okay the number of characters can be one or more and whatever character it is it should be in the range small a to z or capital a to z right it will try to match that form so the number of characters one or more characters should be either in the range small a to z or capital a to z right that is the thing now if not regex dot test test means it is going to test whether it is following this regular expression pattern or not okay if it follows this pattern it will return true otherwise false so that is what we are checking we are checking for false okay so what what you need to test the thing you need to test is this one first name now if this is false that means the user didn't enter characters the user has entered some numbers or special characters so we will try to print an error message that my alert first name should contain only alphabets okay and as i told you we have to return immediately false that's all so this is the validation on the first name right now we will do the validation on last name so if you remember what is the thing they have asked for last name they have asked last name should not be empty that means no zero characters so again length equal to equal to zero this is wrong user should enter at least one character so alert last name should not be empty again return 
false okay so this is the validation for last name now for password field txt password dot length less than six so password should contain six or more characters right so if it is less than six we must dis uh, we must uh, display an error message okay so what can you write here you can use the alert box again right alert so alert password should not or should have more than six characters and as usual, you will write it up false. Okay. Now we need to validate the email also, but email thing is a little bit uh, lengthy. I will show that in the next video. So I am going to validate mobile. So if you remember, the mobile should contain exactly 10 characters, 10 numbers. Okay. Length not equal to 10 so it should not be less than 10 and it should not be greater than 10 it should be exactly 10 so if it is not matching that that is this condition is becoming true that means the validation should fail so alert mobile number should have 10 digits and return false okay now after all the conditions are checked if still the control is reaching here means the validation has passed okay validation success and now you will return true right so this is the javascript okay in the next video, I am going to write the email validation, but let's see the output. Now refresh. Now I click submit. Okay, now it is saying mobile number should have 10 digits. Okay, I think there is some mistake. Uh, it should show this one. First name should not, should have more than six characters. Uh, let's see what mistake I have done. let's give 10, 10 numbers here click submit okay i think something went wrong in the javascript So even if I give 10 digits, it is saying same error message. Maybe something wrong with the HTML. Mm. LM password email mobile address uh, let me remove this and see what is happening okay it is not checking this also
yeah okay so i found the mistake the mistake i have done is i have to write here the dot value okay uh, i forgot about that uh, all right so you will get the value by writing dot value right so now let's refresh and see okay now it is saying first name should have more than six characters so let's give six characters so if you see the data i have given contains numbers now let's click submit now it is saying first name should contain only alphabets right should not contain numbers so let's remove this and let's try to give this now click submit now it's saying last name should not be empty so let's give some last name also now click submit now it's saying password should have more than six characters okay let's give six characters now it's saying mobile number should have 10 digits okay now let's click submit and it's saying validation of success okay so uh, i didn't validate the email in the next video let's see how to validate the email okay so that's it for this video thank you